Hello everyone, welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in TLE Cookery 10 which is all about store meat. So this will be the fourth quarter topic and week number 8. This topic is a milk paste. For the most essential learning competencies, the first one is to utilize quality trimmings and leftovers in storing meat. The second one is store fresh and cryovac packed meat according to health regulations. And the third one is to use required containers and store meat in proper temperature to maintain quality and freshness store meat in accordance with FIPO operating procedures and meat storage requirements. Meat is perishable, so it's very important to handle it properly. Sort and move all the meat immediately to their correct storage. Check temperatures daily and record data according to health department regulations. It is important to store meat safely in the fridge to stop bacteria from spreading and avoid food poisoning. The following is to handle food safely. So keep raw meat, poultry, fish away from other foods so they don't contaminate them. This is probably why many fridges have meat compartment in the bottom of the fridge. If yours does not, store and cook meat, seafood on the lowest rack to prevent their juices from leaking into other foods. In leftovers, don't mix batches. Store leftover cream vegetables for one day only. Before storing, cool rapidly by placing the container on ice. The following are the methods of preserving meat. The first one is drying. This is the most common methods of preserving meat. Drying involves the reduction of the original 70% of the water content of the meat to about 15%. The following are the other ways of drying meat. The first one is natural sun drying. Natural sunlight is used to reduce the amount of moisture content of meat. Portable solar dryers can provide sanitary means of drying meat. Another way of drying meat is dehydration or artificial drying. An oven is used for drying the meat. Although this is more expensive than sun drying, dehydration is more efficient method of removing moisture from the meat. Another method of preserving meat is smoking. Meat is smoked to create a distinctive color and flavor, thus helping its preservation. The flavor, color, and attractive glaze on the surface of the meat are desired like ham, bacon, and tinapa. In smoking, the heat generated during smoking destroys the enzyme and dries the product artificially, thus preventing the growth of molds and virginity bacteria on the surface. The following are the types of smoking. The first one is cold smoking. The temperature is held between 26 to 430 degrees Celsius and the products are smoked over a period of days or weeks. The product does pick up a strong smoke flavor and are dehydrated as well. Another type of smoking is hot smoking. The temperature is higher from 71 to 790 degrees Celsius. The high temperature speed up the drying process, giving the product a mild smoke flavor. Another method of preserving meat is curing. In this method, salt, sugar, potassium, or sodium nitrate and other curing elements such as ascorbic acid, phosphate blend, and spices are used to prolong the keeping quality of meat. 
Curing agents also help improve the flavor and appearance of meat and retain its original color. Another method of preserving meat is refrigerating. Meat is stored at a temperature range of 2 to 100 degrees Celsius to retard mold and bacterial growth for a limited period. Another method of preserving meat is freezing. Meat is preserved at a temperature of 100 degrees and below, freezing the activated enzymes and bacteria. Meat can be preserved for 2 months to 1 year using this method. Another method of preserving meat is canning. Meat preserved by canning is packed in sealed cans or jars which are subjected to temperatures of 1000 degrees Celsius and above 5 to 7 kilo pressure for a specific period. This process destroys the organism that causes spoilage. Another method of preserving meat is freeze drying. The process involves the removal of moisture from the meat tissues by transforming the moisture content into ice and gas. The texture, appearance, flavor, and nutritive value of freeze dried products are comparable to frozen foods. This method needs special equipment such as modern freeze dryer. Canned foods can be stored at room temperature in the cold place and hold their eating quality for several months. They are safe to eat if there is no bulge on the can. Below the 240 degrees Celsius is a good temperature for storage. Canned ham and other perishable meats should be stored in the refrigerator unless storage recommendation on the state otherwise. The following are the hygiene practices in storing meat products. To achieve high standards of sanitation, the following measures should be strictly observed. The first one is situate that the physical equipment and layout are conducive to sanitary practices. The second one is handle, store, and refrigerate food properly to prevent spoilage and contamination. Another hygiene practices in storing meat products is safeguard the food during distribution and service. And the fourth one is to wash and sanitize dishes, glasses, utensils, and equipment. Another hygiene practices in storing meat products is to clean floors, walls, ceilings, counters, tables, and chain regularly. And the sixth one is to eliminate vermin and rodents from food areas. Another hygiene practices in storing meat products is to maintain adequate employer supervision and a constant program of education in sanitation for food service workers. And make sure that food service employees are in good health and are not carriers of communicable diseases that must be guarded against in public feeding operation a respiratory, intestinal, and skin diseases. Another hygiene practices in storing meat products is to provide regular employee education on food service sanitation.
The following are the techniques in storing meat. The first one is safe storage. Meat is among the most perishable foods. This perishable ability makes it a potential hazardous food. At ambient temperature, meat spoils so fast. It is therefore necessary to keep in chilled storage. Another technique in storing meat is storing. Take time to store the food items. Store new purchases behind old ones and always use the old stock first. It is easy to put new purchases at the front.